Leo Cullen making his way towards us. While he's doing that, talk us through Jordan Larmour, man of the match, 138 metres. And as Alan Quinlan said, even in the first half, rubber stamping his green jersey. Yeah, and I really liked the pace that he brought um, every time he got the ball. This is key as well, um, in taking the ball in the air. Very important. It's probably what let him down in the Ireland shirt before, but he steps so naturally off either foot and uh, he keeps the ball alive. We're joined by Leo here. Just, we're just talking through... through um, Larmer's performance is stepping his footwork is incredible does he do much work on that or is that just natural I think he picks it up from you Shaggy <laughs> um, yeah, it's no. great having Leo here isn't it <laughs> this is the best one look at this off both feet just straight through what's this step here swerve body swerve change of direction changes the ball fights and, and then knows he's, he's tackled and just doesn't give it away and here we go off the off the right, off the right. What's the back foot step here? And he comes again. What's just here? Hop steps. It's just <laughs> his own players can't keep up with him, but it, it is really beautiful to watch. Leo, he's, he's like a player that's come of age the last six weeks. Yeah, I think to be fair, the, he played a lot of hockey when he was in school. I think that a lot of his stepping comes from that. I've been told. So right. St Andrews education. Um, <laughs> so yeah, no, he's, he's he's been really good the last couple of weeks, Jordan. So um, uh, getting better all the time. And what's he doing in training? If he's doing that in a European Cup match, you know, in a stadium like the Aviva. You know, are you seeing that day in, day out? He's making some heavy forwards look very cheap, but on a reasonably <laughs> regular basis, so I'm glad I don't play rugby anymore. <laughs> you encourage that, I presume. You want that. I mean, structure is, is all very important, but if he sees a gap and he can express himself, go for it, go for it, go for it. That seems to be the message. I doubt you're in there saying to him, what, what were you doing there? Um, yeah, no, like, it would be fully encouraged for the guys just to t try and beat defenders, basically, yeah. So um, I thought the guys were good now today. Um, a tough game with Northampton, I thought, were very aggressive around the contact area. Um, slowed us up there a few times. Um, you know, the rook was a bit of a mess at times, but you know, credit to the lads. I thought they, you know, stuck at the task pretty well. And, um, obviously, it's good to get another win and bonus point and keeps us trucking along. But um, 50 points, mate, job done. But the, the thing, as you as a coach, you've got your selections absolutely spot on. When I, I read the team last week, Furlong on the bench, and, and you know, I said, Oh, okay, that's I, w I wasn't expecting that. But you got it right, and you got it right again tonight, rotating them. What, what guides you on that to, uh, to make those Well, I just try to make an assessment on who's the most motivated on any given day. I think yeah. that's probably the big thing. So, um, And we're going to chop and change our team a little bit over the next few weeks, and a lot of guys will get an opportunity. Um, and that's you know what we want. We want a nice competitive group. Um, you know, the, the players have been excellent, I have to say. You know, like when they, they process the information well, like, you know, a lot of guys are disappointed, but they know they'll have another opportunity, and it's what they do on the day. Then, and yeah. you know, they're not that they're happy for other guys when they play well, but they're very respectful of all the other players as well. That's really interesting. How so? How do you assess an individual motivation of a player week to week? Um, you're just making all sorts of assessment how they are physically, um, you know, and what's coming up as well so um you know, we we see a lot of guys come back from the world cup and everyone's in a different place you mm. know depending on what's gone on like obviously there's some guys that have been starters other guys have you know played a bit more of a peripheral role so you know those guys have come back in and you know they're motivated to kick on with us so um yeah lots of different variables um but overall now we're, we're pleased with the attitude of the group you know this you see it a lot, all the teams even like a, they saw the camera panning to the guys that non playing 23 and you know, we've a good few injuries at the moment but it was pleasing to see a number of guys mm -hmm. come in there today um obviously ed and brian burn in the front row you know kieran frawley coming on at 10 yeah. so you know great experience for those guys playing at this level um even just playing here in this you know in this stadium as well it's a really positive step for a number of guys and all local boys too which is wonderful to see you know all uh, all leinster boys great yeah what's the word on ross burn uh just dead leg so okay. yeah he's yeah he was struggling just to shake it off so um yeah, you know, he's, he's very important for us at the moment, Ross, but um, he's OK in the dressing room there. We were even pre-gaming, I know you were doing something similar with the journalists yesterday, just uh, taking a brief look back on your four years. And you go back four years ago, it was a tough time. You were 37 years of age, thrown into the deep end, baptism of fire, five or six pool games, no fun at all. I'm sure you looked very calm on the outside around that time. I'm sure behind the scenes you were uh, kicking quite hard underneath the water. What was that period like when you reflect on it now? Um, you're just trying to figure it all out, you know, and it's hard, you know, obviously Matt has got a lot more experience coaching than I do, and, you know, like, I was out of playing a year, so, you know, very much a rookie uh, when I 
was thrust into the position. Um, I'm not sure what way is the best way to describe it. Um, Did any kind of panic set in on your part privately? Um, I'd say my wife probably thought I was looking at panicking a few times, yeah. Um, which which sure would be understandable. Yeah. Uh, you must have been thinking, this isn't what I was hoping for at all. Yeah, it's, yeah particularly I remember this game four, like four years ago, you talk about the Toulon game, yeah, because mm. um, we lost here against a very powerful Toulon team as well. And, you know, they've won the European Cup three times, so they're a very good team. Um, you know, we were well ahead in that game, and I remember we conceded a penalty try up yeah. the other end of the field there. With and you know, it was just nothing was really going for us. You know, I thought their tight head literally angled straight across the scrum. I thought it was going to be penalty against him, and then suddenly the referee's walking us underneath the sticks. So, um, lots of things, you know, lots of endeavor, but we were just a little bit off, and um, we were just trying to turn it around. Yeah. So, um, anyway, the group is in a better place now, but you know, it's only December, so the it's just about getting ourselves in the right position now for later on the year. Um, you know, we've three great interprovincial games coming up now, so yes, yes. Um, which games. is great to look forward to. Yeah. And you're quite clearly not a self-promoter, but answer this as best you can. How have you changed in the four years? What have you got better at? What have you learned the most? Um, try and delegate more and do less. I think <laughs> is the key. I think to any success, really. Right. Um, okay. Yeah. Another group is like we have a great bunch of coaches here and backroom teams. So. Um, you know, it's just trying to make sure that everything is in for the place for the players, really. Like because you know, it's about the players that are on the field and making sure we give them every chance to be as good as they can possibly be. Okay. Well, you're being dragged away. I'm sure you have lots of media duties. Well done. Congratulations. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Thank Cheers, you. Yeah. Thank you. Leo Cullen there.